All right, last part. You can see what we're getting ready to do here. Well, maybe you can from this angle, but it's a through hole with a counter bolt. And uh, I already popped the through hole from this side when we made the step on the last two. So well, all we got to do here is make this drill and make this counter bore, flat bottom counter bore for a socket head cap screw. So go ahead and pop this one out. We'll put the last one in there and uh, see if we can't get her done. Same as before, just set it in there, spaced it with the parallels, and then tightened it up. I'm just hossing down on these here because that I'm making the square bottom counter bore with an end mill, so it uh, got a little bit more thrust than a drill does. Oh, it's a 3/8 socket head cap screw. So this is a that means it's got a 9/16 diameter head. So I'm just going to rough it with a half inch screw machine drill. Take most of the material out. us to most of the material out of there now. The 3 8 diameter screw got a 3 8 inch tall head. So I went 3 8 inch deep with this and we'll go 0.4 with the counter bore for the end mill. The 0.4 is a pretty specific number and uh, my uh, tail stock is only marked in sixteenths of an inch here, so I'm going to take and set up a little bit of a one of them Rube Goldberg things that I'm getting to be, uh, <laughs> you're obviously getting familiar with having stayed to the channel for a while. Okay, so I got me a, I got me a stop magnet. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it up here in the right place. All right, so I got me a magnet stuck to the quill, and uh, then just an indicator and a mighty mag, and I'm gonna go ahead and touch off, lock the tail stock in place. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the pinch bolt back too. Okay, so now we're touching. And I zero my indicator. And I'm going to back up off of there so we don't blow something out whenever we... I'm going to slow the feet, the speed down here from 600 to 185. Touchdown. There's a tenth. Two tenths. Three tenths. Four tenths depth. We're done with the counter board. Go ahead and 
ahead and swap the end mill out for a camper drill or a camper uh, countersink. Go ahead and break that corner while I got it running here. sits down in there far enough and it does we're golden but now I just got one more operation on these pucks and we got to make us a beauty line right here with a radius tool so I'll set up for that and I'll bring you back all right so this is the last operation on these pucks I'm just going to make a beauty line around the OD here using this uh, it's another top notch tool it's a quarter inch full radius insert so here we go There it is. That's the last stop. Now that puck's finished. I go ahead and do the rest of them and I'll bring you back when I got something else to show you. Guys, we're ready to start on another piece here. This is a, a horizontal bit that holds it all together. So uh, that's a two inch piece of coal rolled, or hot rolled rather, just 1018. I'm trying a different angle kind of over my shoulder but from a ways off. So, uh, you know, I don't throw chips at the camera and you can actually see what's going on. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try not to stand in front of you guys, but if I do, I apologize up front. That's what I can do about it. That's 200 thou off the OD, uh, 7 thou per rev, 600 RPM. That's a nice chip. That's a Mitsubishi insert with an FP chip breaker. No, PF chip breaker. Well, that looks pretty good. I expect it's pretty damn hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty damn hot. So I'm going to let it set for a minute, then I'm going to measure it, and we'll see where we're at. All right, so I got it down to size. I come within about three foul getting it right, so that's plenty close enough. Now I'm cutting the notches. I got a bunch of uh, notch sections to put in here. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to show the whole thing. I just want to demonstrate. That's how I'm going to do it. I'll bring you back when it's finished.